Hi everyone, welcome to Gray Matters. Today we're diving into the world of Omniverse USD Composer. This video is a comprehensive beginner-friendly tutorial designed to introduce you to the fundamental concepts and tools of Omniverse USD Composer. We'll cover the basics like creating a new scene, importing assets, understanding the USD stage, and exploring basic editing and manipulation techniques. Open the Omniverse Launcher, navigate to USD Composer, and click on the Launch button. This will automatically create a new blank project. If at any point you want to create another blank project, you can go to File and click on New. This creates a new USD stage, which is the foundation of your Omniverse scene. Think of it as a hierarchical structure where you can organize and manage different elements of your virtual world. Before we dive into creating and editing assets, let's familiarize ourselves with the basic navigation controls in USD Composer. This will help you move around your scene efficiently. Hold the right mouse button and move your mouse to move the camera around. While holding the right mouse button, you can use the WASD keys to move forward, backward, left, and right. Use E and Q keys to move up and down. To adjust the navigation speed, hold the right mouse button and use the scroll wheel. Scrolling up will make it faster, while scrolling down will make it slower. Additionally, pressing the Shift or Control key while holding right mouse button will double or halve the speed respectively. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Hold the middle mouse button and move your mouse to pan the camera left and right, up and down. Left click on an object to select it. Hold down the Shift key while clicking to select multiple objects. There are multiple ways to import assets into your scene. Simply drag and drop your 3D model files directly into the viewport. You can also use the Import button in the toolbar by going to File, click Import, and then select your files from the browser. If your assets are stored on a network drive, you can reference them, which means they'll be loaded on demand without copying them into your scene, which we will learn in the upcoming videos. Let's import a 3D model. I'll drag and drop this .usd file into the scene. Give it a few seconds to load, and the USD model will appear in your virtual world. You'll notice that it appears in the viewport as a primitive. The USD stage is the core of Omniverse. It's a hierarchical data structure that represents your scene. The stage consists of layers. These are different layers like in Photoshop, allowing you to organize and manage different aspects of your scene. Primitives. These are the basic building blocks of your scene, such as models, lights, and cameras. Attributes. These define the properties of primitives like position, rotation, scale, color, and material. Let's explore the stage hierarchy. We can see the root layer, which is the top-level container for all other elements. Below it, we have the imported model as a primitive. If we select the primitive, we can see its attributes in the transform panel, like position, rotation, and scale. Lighting plays a crucial role in creating realistic and visually appealing scenes. Omniverse USD Composer includes various types of lights, such as cylinder lights, disc lights, distant lights, dome lights, rectangle lights, and sphere lights. You can adjust the intensity, color, and direction of lights to achieve different lighting effects. To add a camera to your scene, click on Create and select Camera. Alternatively, you can click on the Perspective view and choose Create from View. This will create a camera that matches your current viewpoint. The camera determines what you see in the viewport. You can adjust the camera's position, rotation, and field of view to control the perspective of your scene. 
Some additional tips are learn and use keyboard shortcuts to speed up your workflow. Use the snap to grid feature to align objects precisely. Take advantage of the undo and redo functions to experiment without fear of mistakes. Save your scene frequently to avoid losing your work. Refer to the official Omniverse USD Composer documentation for more in-depth information and troubleshooting tips. We've covered the basics of creating a new scene, importing assets, understanding the USD stage, and exploring basic editing and manipulation techniques. This is just the beginning. In future videos, we'll delve deeper into advanced topics like creating materials, adding lights, animating objects, and collaborating with other users. Subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and updates on 3D creation and virtual worlds. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you for watching.